Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm taking you with me. I'm going to two games today. I've just got to Princess Park for the London City versus Blackburn game. And then I'm off to um, Meadow Park for Arsenal versus West Ham. It'll be a good game later. But um, yeah, I've just got here. So Uh, the ball has come out of play and it's into Neville at the back and she's going to open up and play that out to... Ooh, ooh, I don't know who she's going to do there but we know that Amy Man is going to sweep it up. What's she going to do? What's she going to do? What's she going to do? Plays it into... Is that Sinead Hopcroft? It is. Look at that touch. Love it, love it, love it. Open space. Three, two, one. Oh my God, I got the time. That one free kick. Let's have it. Ooh, oh, that hurt. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> Okay, it's half time here at Princess Park. It's nil nil. I don't think it should be nil nil. I think London City should be one or two up. You know, we're looking at the side who's second to top and second to bottom. London City have dominated play. It's been a lot better. It's been, it's a very um, scrappy game. To say the least, there's been a lot of drama and. Um, I went and sat a bit closer to the front so I could witness it. And goodness gracious me, mate, the girls I don't think like each other too much here. It's quite funny to witness, to be honest. Okay, 56 minutes, still nil-nil. This has been a game. I'm still quite shocked that it's nil-nil, to be fair. I was expecting at least 2-0 London City by now. Um, yeah, it's been interesting. All right, Lois Joel is now being subbed on. What minute are we in? 58th minute. Um, she just transferred from West Ham. She was there last season. Absolutely loved watching her at West Ham. Um, and seeing her get more game time this season here has been... I've been loving it, to be honest. There is not long left. Hold on. 80, it's 85th minute. We've got about five minutes left. To be fair, we had on injury time. We're probably looking at another 15, 20 minutes, really. Oh, no! Oh, save for the century! Save of the bloody century mate oh my god right, currently at the bus stop waiting for the bus to go to Dartford station to head up to L Street and Warren Wood station and nil nil full time for London City I imagine they'd be fuming um, you could see like some of the players um, who weren't playing or sat on the bench or whatever were getting a little bit riled up toward the end and stood up like pacing it was a game that they should have won if you look at it the team second like you know London City are second at the moment that burn is second to bottom so yeah, to finish that nil nil, I don't think they're going to be happy. It was a very scrappy game. Jamie Lee Napier, bless her, she did not. They were not going easy on her. I thought at one moment she broke her wrist. We all thought she broke her wrist at one point. It was bad. It was aggressive, but great to watch. Um, but yeah, so heading to Elgin Bournemouth now. It's going to be good. Got off the train at Bournemouth, and I'm not exaggerating when I say my head is spinning. I have the worst headache I've had in a good week or so, which I know that sounds like it's nothing, but for me that's something. I'm in so much pain, I'm in so much pain and I've got a 20 minute walk ahead of me now to get to Warrenwood and I'm running really late because I was supposed to leave around 60 minutes into the London City game but it was too good, I could not leave for anything, that game was, oh, I could not leave but now I'm regretting it because I'm running really late and I'm on speed walk with North Migraine and I have no time now to stop and get food because I'm really late, to be fair I say that like kickoff is in an hour but you're supposed to really be there if you're going for press you should really be there a good like hour and a half before the game to set up everything <laughs> and I went late and it's no run over but the weather's quite like nice it's quite good football weather okay it is 25 minutes in nil nil West Ham's first corner I'm gonna say first corner feels right in my head I should not quite show you what it's like in the media thing so I got my little badge which is really cute <gasps> whoa oh, West Ham scored but they did not score whoa what was it offside Ooh, that was that was interesting and now I wish I was not so involved in my vlog anyway I thought I'd show you this little food bag that we got because this is the best one I've had it has salt and vinegar crisps that's my favourite thing and a little hold on and a little Mars bar if that's not winning in life I don't know what is but yeah nil nil I thought it was one nil West Ham but no nil nil still oh ooh. this is the right scenes from the press box there's some desks here but no one wanted desks today apparently here we are it's quite a nice little view if i do say so myself oh back with it with the videography i'm trying to be quiet because i'm the only one talking oh shimizu in oh oh back 
out to R. Oh, no, it is defended. Back to Shimizu. Oh no, on to Black Sidious. Oh no, back in. Oh, we've got a hammer in the house. Oh, oh, oh. Is it? It's half time. Well, it's half time. Just to clarify, what we were saying was that half time was coming to an end because we're making time. Um, yeah. Yashi, who plays it into string like, oh, Jordan, 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 Jordan. I love how everyone playing next to Jordan looks fine, but, oh, and it's over their heads. What's he using? Oh, it's Steph Catley. Steph Catley. Oh, oh. And okay, by McKay. So, oh, I'll be back on the ball. Oh. Accepted by Shimizu. Say, oh, 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 she's still on it. Out to Benja Stata. I'm back with the top star commentary. This should be my new career, and it is scarred. How high do you want the goal? Right, school and update 3 1 West Ham. Um, <laughs> Twas not 3 1 West Ham, Twas 3 1 Arsenal. Um, and the Vianna Media Marks now on the pitch, you play Stina about Stinius. Yes, hold on, I'm going to remember this. Um, Caitlin Ford is replaced by Lena Hurtig and Noelle Moritz was replaced by Laura B. Moy Darcy. Look at that memory. That is still a memory right there. I mean, it happened like 30 seconds ago. Not the point. Oh, Sophie Hilliard. She has been absolutely on fire today. Absolutely on fire. Look at my videography, mate. Right, we're now on the other side of the pitch. I'll show you what we're seeing. This is the setup. We've got Jonas Edeval there, Sky Sports. I think they're doing these ribbons as well. Not too sure. But yeah, just getting ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> it is freezing and we are now waiting to find out what is happening next. I think Jonas Stodeval just saw me and that is embarrassing. Oh my god. <laughs> that is embarrassing. All right. Greek for you. Um, can you just sum up, having waited and been so patient for your chance this season, uh, just how it feels really? <laughs> yeah. Um... I don't know, I mean, obviously I love this club so much and um, I've absolutely trained my bum off for the past, uh, you know, five, six months and I think eventually just them little moments of, of things come, whether that's something happening and I've, and I've got to be ready, but um, no, I'm a little bit proud of myself just staying in it and I mean, what I said, girls we have, like it's hard to get into the team and, um, you know, I think that just makes it so special um, when you get chances on the pitch because, you know, you know that you're, you're playing up against a top, top talent. And uh, with the kind of substitution when Kim came, um, we, we haven't really seen you play Jordan as an eight very much. She's used to playing higher. Yeah. A lot of people might have expected maybe Viv to come on and Frieda to drop lower. What was it about playing Jordan as an eight that you thought would really fit this game? Because you see the, the way we build up, and I think you can see when you look out, it was so important to get a close connection between two sixes and play in front of their midfield because we didn't get the opportunities to change the point of attack. We constantly needed, so for example, when Well got the ball, she constantly needed to have a short option inside. And I couldn't think about a better player than, than Jordan Nobbs to constantly, she would be there asking for the ball all the time making short passes, making an extra pass, and I thought that was exactly what we needed. And then she gave us that with a little bit more, so we we're very happy for her. But it's also very important for the team that she performed the way Okay guys, it's stupid o'clock. I'll just go back to my nans, look at me. I still haven't taken this off yet. This is one of my favorite, other than the FA one, from the Lionesses, I think this might be one of my favorites. I think, how cute is that? That's proper cute, let's effort to, into that. And it has a little lanyard, I mean, it's cool. Um, what a game, what a day. Gutted about Kim Little, completely, utterly gutted. Words don't word, like the words don't compute, genuinely help, completely gutted I am about Kim Little. Um, it, she's, like, I was on the side where she went off and I saw them pull out a stretch, I was like, ah, oh, no, no, because Kim Little was one of the biggest ballers in the WSL, I don't care, I say it, I, was, I, I will happily say that. Um, you guys know I love Kim Little, so yeah, to see her go off on the stretcher, get it. Happy to see Jules on, Jules and Nob's Revenge Tour. I'm so here for it, like, so here for it. 100 caps um, in the WSL, 100 appearances, I should say, in the WSL for Kate McCabe.
go queen legend icon the moment um but yeah post match was really really fun that was the first time i've been like a mix zone for post match which was crazy i love that actually we had we had first vote to nobsy jordan um absolute angel not a bad word to say about her. it's the first i think it's the third time fourth time i've met her i don't know either way absolute angel love it a bit um then we spoke to Jonas, and then we spoke to Paul Kincheski. That's the second one I've done with him. Every time they're funnier. I love him. Um, but yeah, that's the end of this video. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you all next week. Also, actually, while I'm here, thanks to everyone who came over for a picture today. It made me feel really loved. It was really lovely. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it was really fun. So yeah, thank you.